What's good, you guys? Native Instruments just dropped a new play series, and it's called Ignition Keys. And if you're not familiar with play series, I advise you to watch my Playbox video. I really go in depth on what all these knobs mean. So starting off, you have this balance knob. Pretty much, you have two sounds, and the balance is you could blend them. So let's just mess around. I'm going to pick a key real quick. Let's actually go to D minor. So let's actually record that in. Yo, baby, this is just, this is just the beginning. So now what we can do is just press play. If I go all the way to the left, it's going to play the space keys. Now, if I go all the way to the right, it's going to play the lurky pad. So now you could just decide like what sounds better to you. Do you either want the space keys by yourself or a little of the lurky pad? And you could just kind of tweak it like that. And then for cutoff, it's just pretty much your filter. And then your resonance. And then saturation, like most of the macros is like pretty self-explanatory if you're like kind of, you know, beginner to intermediate in the mixing. And for saturation, that just means to simply add more harmonics to your sound. And you don't have to get so technical. If you think about mixing in those kind of way, like in a broad aspect, mixing becomes very easy to understand. So don't let people confuse like, oh, this the technical matter. No, we're adding harmonics. So when you're trying to make a sound sound more full like your 808s and your drums no more tutorials on like how to make your drums kick through the mix no more you really just use saturation or um distortion and then you had a d2 knob and then the space knob is just like stereo width that sounds very wide and then you had the flanger the way I like to think about flanger is just pretty much chorus effect and then the overall volume. So those are like the basic macros. And then you could go to sounds to go more in depth. Like if you're big on sound design, this definitely gives you that room for it. So you could transpose one sound, you could tune one sound or tune both sounds. You could like have all the effects that you're doing on channel on um, layer A and then just click this link button and it will go to channel B as well. You could have the link off to do it individually. And then you got the pan, you got the volume, you could also switch out the sound from here. You got your LFO and that's just pretty much modulation to give it more of a realistic sound like someone's actually playing this. That's how I like to think about modulation. Then you have the ADSR to kind of just tweak with the sound, like from the attack, the K, the sustain, the release. You could really come up with something unique when you just listen to what's going on rather than knowing what every knob means. But for the most part, that's what it is. You can add a bit of noise, crush, and all these stuff you could just mess around with to make your sound more unique. And then the effects is pretty much self-explanatory. You could go here, switch out the effects. You could also move your effects around. And I think it goes left to right because limiter is usually last in your channel. So that's why I'm saying left to right. And then you could also do the same thing, have both of the effects go on one, or you could switch up the effects on one sound. Like this library is very intuitive to just really mess around and get your own sound. And then sequence, just hold on one note and it plays this like an arpeggio kind of um, rhythm. And then the macros is pretty much these features down here and you could just tweak these even more. This is very user friendly. So you could just jump right in and just start creating some crazy sounds. And then you see this dice at the bottom. This just means that you could um, pick randomly through the sounds. So let's just go on and make a beat. like it straight in the middle so you can either use the dice or you can actually go down and just use from the category so let's actually go to the categories mess around with it
Okay, I'm filling this one. And then I want to layer it. So let's just copy it. This is called coma. So I pretty much like those and now we just need like some kind of base. So yeah, you may see that there's only one base. Like I said, you could tweak both the sounds so you could have the actual bass playing and then you could just like switch these sounds out and I'll show you what I mean. Let's just get a bass pattern going. Let's do something like that. So we could just switch out. That's like a unique layer that you could just keep doing and have more bases. Like you don't have to look at it and be like, oh, there's only one base. Oh, there's only this amount. There's really infinite amounts if you really like tap into your creativity. You're a smart guy. Clearly picked up some flashy tricks. And let's just keep going. <laughs> Yeah, that's hard. Let's just add some drums real quick. Add some claps. some open hi-hats. some hi-hat rolls and you really get the gist of what's going on right now man like you could just hear the sounds that's kind of hard i ain't gonna find it so yeah we could just even go into another beat see what other sounds they got so let's just listen to some of the keys.
kind of like that one. And like I said, yeah, there is about like 56 keys, but you could also just make more. You should try opening your mind every once in a while. And then this time, let's do like F sharp minor. Let's try some pads. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, we could just add something like that. I'll say amen to that. So I actually copied it over, so let me just delete that bottom part. Yeah. And then I want to add some keys. Let's go with the chill vibe. Let's just go to the 808 real fast. Let's add that mug hit. Oh, that's how you do it, kids. <laughs> I wanna go with a snare, let that hit, let's go. So that snare is kinda quiet, let's go to the mixer. Bring this a bit closer. Add some saturation and compression to widen it out. Or cut through the mix, I mean. Crazy. <laughs> I'm getting hyped right now. <laughs> Pressing all type of buttons. Calm down, calm down. And then let me actually add two more kicks. Mm. All right, so I'm just gonna mess around and add like another lead sound. So let's go to the scent lead.
then obviously you probably want to leave more space for the artist. Too many things happening. But for the sake of this video, just showing you guys the sound, let's just like add like another like vocal. Ooh, we gonna mute that lead. Let's go up an octave. Like this play series i actually have an affiliate link in the description it will help support this channel if you decide that you want to get this library so shout out to you guys that watched throughout the whole video and share with your other producer friends letting them know about this library and then you know see if you want it yourself so check it out